hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. So I'll choose my text tool first and I'll type my text T over here like this. Then select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now I'll select this text and I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'll, I'll hide this first text, I'll select this second text. Then I'll go to the character menu and I'm going to delete this field. Instead of that, I want stroke and I'll choose black color for the stroke like this. Okay, and the stroke width, I'm going to choose four pixels. Now enable this text over here. Now select this second text and make it apparent with this first text like this. Now select this text and press P for position. And initially I'm going to move this over here, but let's do one thing. Let's create one keyframe over here zoom in a little bit go to around one second and we will create another keyframe then go to the start and let's move this upward like this okay now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here so if i see i'll get this kind of animation now i'll go to around 20 frames i'll select this text i'll press t i'll create one keyframe then i'll go somewhere around over here and I'll make this opacity 0 then I'll go few frame forward and I'll copy first keyframe by hitting ctrl C ctrl V then I'll select those keyframe again I'll hit ctrl C ctrl V again so we'll get this kind of animation now select those keyframe and hit F9 so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation like this now after that go few frame forward again I'm going to make it 0 and I'll go around 2 uh, frames I mean 2 seconds and I'll make this 100 so now if I see I'll get this kind of animation like this now let's select those keyframes and I'll go to 10 frames and I'll move them over here like this okay so if I see this animation I'll get something like this now select both the uh, text layers and I'll press ctrl shift c and I'll call it as t and I'll hit ok and I'll lock this layer now select your text tool and type another text I'm going to type t typography text so for the, this is just for reference so i'm going to delete this stroke and for the color i'm going to choose let's say red color okay select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and now let's type our full text i'll type text my typography like this select this text press ctrl alt home and align it to the center like this so this is going to be my reference layer so i'll bring this downwards and i'll lock this layer i'll select this text i'll select this t and press f4 and enable this icon and i'll move this text over here now select this t hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit enter and let's call it as y hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as p select this hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as o hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as g hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as r hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as a and we already have this po already over here so we don't need to duplicate create a duplicate instead of that we want this h so i'll select this p i'll hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as h and also we have this y so we don't need to uh, you know create that again okay so except uh, t we need to bring all of this come earlier so hit ctrl a to select all of them and we will deselect this t and this main animation comp because this is already here and we will bring all of them over here now they are already uh, you know uh, t so we need to do changes in this so let's do one thing we'll go inside this a first now because this is a so we need to change this text also so simply select your text tool and i'll select this text and i'll type a okay so our a is done now we have to change g so change these two text layers into g select this h select this text and change it to h 
select this O select this text and change it to O then this P then this R then this Y okay so we did our changes now we have to you know uh, adjust them one by one so after T we want Y so I'll hide all of them let's focus on this Y over here select this Y select all of them and make sure to enable this icon select this Y and adjust it to over here like this then we need to bring our P so this is my P so I'll bring this off uh, before this Y enable it and let's move this over here then we need O so move this over here enable it and adjust the position then we need G so select this and move this over here select this G and move this over here then this R should this should be here then they select this A move this over here select this H move this over here then we have P already over here so hit ctrl D and bring this in middle of this A and H and we need to bring this thing over here then we have this Y also hit ctrl D bring this at the top and I'll move this over here okay and after all of that I'll delete my this text and now we have this text animation over here now uh, what we will do we will hit uh, we will try to adjust them one by one so at five second I'll select this and move this over here so we will mm, adjust them one by one and we will choose the difference of five frames for each text okay so if I see this animation now I'll get something like this now let's select all of them and I'll press ctrl shift C and I'll call it as text and I'll hit ok like this let's uh, close all of these compositions and now go to the effect and presets panel and I'll search for fill and I'll double click to apply and I'm going to choose this color and simply hit ok like this ok so we will get this kind of animation now after that I'm going to select my rounded rectangle tool I don't want any stroke at least for now so I'll delete the stroke and I'm going to create rectangle but rectangle with this color only and simply hit ok and by holding shift let's create one rounded rectangle like this it should cover entire text then select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically and bring this downwards select this text and let's choose white color so we can see this now uh, select this rounded rectangle and i'm going to increase the roundness like this okay so we will get something like this if you see this animation we will get this kind of stuff now uh, let's uh, select this text and we will choose this color again like this and let's hide this now now i'll select this shape layer i'll hit enter and i'll call it as mask and hit ok hit ctrl d and we will bring this at the top i'll select this text i'll press f4 and i'll choose alpha mask like this okay now i'll select this hit enter and i'll call it as gradient and hit ok now why this gradient because we need some gradient over here so i'll go to the fill and i'm going to choose this gradient hit ok like this i'll go move this uh, you know anchor point over here and this handle over here like this i'll go over here and let's enable our text uh, hit cancel let's say enable our text let's say select this go over here what i did over here i have choose this you know white color over here and with the help of this i have decreased the opacity and over here with the help of this picker i'm going to select this color hit ok like this now I'll select this I'll press T for opacity and I'll make this opacity 30 okay like this 
so if I see this thing now we will get something like this if you want then you can move this a little bit upward now I select this gradient and I'll hit ctrl D and let's hide this now I'll select this I don't want any full uh, fill but I want stroke so I'll go to the stroke and with the help of the speaker I'll select this color and hit ok now we will animate our strokes let's select the in and enable this icon and for the stroke width I'm going to choose let's say six, 7 pixels maybe like this and press T for opacity and increase the opacity like this now we will go to the add menu and we'll go to the trim path uh, let's hide this go to the trim path initially let's make it zero at the end property create one keyframe go to around one let's say two seconds and increase it up to 100 i'll go somewhere around 1.10 frames and i'll create one keyframe at the start then i'll go to around four seconds and i'll make this proper 100 okay so if you see this animation you will get something like this now we will go to the start and we will create one keyframe at the offset and go to around four seconds and we will make it six so now what will happen we will get this kind of animation and if you think this is uh, quite fast so you can mm, decrease the offset also like you can choose three okay and now we will do one thing instead of 100 at the end property over here i'm going to make it 80 or let's say 60 over here and at last i'm going to make this 100 again okay and we will also create one keyframe at the start also like this and now uh, let's make this offset six now select all the keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor i'll select all the handles by holding shift we will move one handle over here and by holding shift we will move one handle over here so now if we hit play i'll get something like this okay and i select this press f4 and enable this motion blur now after that i'll enable this gradient let's hide this text now select this gradient press t let's make this opacity zero at this point i'm going to create one keyframe over here and now let's make this opacity 30 and at the end of this animation or oh, somewhere around over here i'll create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's make this opacity zero again like this or let's go to the start move this keyframe over here and move this keyframe over here so we'll get something like this now we will enable our text and i want this text should start from here like this okay now i'll select this text right click go to the transform and uh, not transform but layer styles and choose bevel emboss like this go to the bevel emboss and increase the softness and increase the size like this and in shadow color shadow opacity i am going to decrease it up to let's say 15 percent okay now let's go to the start and i'm going to create one keyframe at angle over here and hit u go to around let's say somewhere around six i'm going to make it two rotation okay so if you see this animation now along with this animation you will get this animation also if you want then you can increase duration up to seven okay like this now if you want you can select this you can go to the effect and presets panel and you can apply a drop shadow effect simply double click to apply it like this and let's increase the softness let's increase the distance and change the opacity to somewhere around 15 or let's say 20 and with the help of the speaker i'm going to select this color only okay and now select this drop shadow effect select this gradient uh, let's apply it select this stroke and also apply that let's uh, rename it to stroke
like this okay now select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as animation and hit ok press s for scale motion now select this hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make it minus value press p and let's bring this downwards so we will get this kind of shadow now select this and choose rectangle and i'll create one mask like this and go to the mask one and increase the mask feathers then press t for opacity and decrease the opacity like this so if i see this animation now we will get this kind of text really okay then press ctrl y to create one solid background and i'll move this over here and i'll lock this now i'll pre create another composition by hitting ctrl n i'll call it as fractal and i'll hit ok i'll press ctrl y and i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply a fractal noise effect on it and let's increase the contrast totally like this go to the transform unlink this and increase the scale width and decrease the height like this okay increase the scale width somewhere around like this go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and bring this fractal over here and let's lock this layer now select this inverted layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for compound blur effect and we will select this fractal layer so we will get something like this so if you fit play this animation now along with this we will get this kind of animation over here so yep this is how you can create this kind of elegant text reveal animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned